if we write the same way at 60 that we did at 30, and I'm going to be uncharacteristically non-Canadian and, and absolute about this. If we write the same way at 60 as we did at 30, something's gone wrong. Or, or, here the Canadian qualifier. <laughs> or, we have found a successful vein early and have no desire to leave it because it's become commercially viable for us. We all know writers like this who are writing the same book and mining the same vein all their life. If you are serious about what you do, and I'm going to use a dreadfully pretentious word and say, as an artist, if you're serious about your craft, if you're serious about your art, you will evolve as life makes you evolve. And what I mean by that, we're right at the end, so I'm going to wrap it quickly. People often ask what your biggest influence is. And especially for younger writers, what they really mean is, who have you read that influenced how you write? And for me, by far, the biggest influence on how I write is life. It's the experiences you've had that uh, getting married, having children, the death of family or friends, the experiences we have change us or something's wrong that we respond to and react to as people, the events of our lives, the people in our lives. And as artists, we're people first. The life we live changes the way we write. And so for me, it's a function more than any other single thing of not being the same person I was in my 20s, say, when I wrote The Fiona Bar Tapestry, which was deliberately written to sound operatic. My, my mental image when I wrote my first trilogy was grand opera. That was Wagner. That was my, that was my own template as, as to prose. Styles change because we change. 